Good day ladies and gents, right now BSG is installing a new patch and let's talk about this patch. So the installation will take 4 hours but may be extended, alright? List of changes. An experimental option Sheets of Tarkov lower texture resolution mode has been added to the graphic settings to reduce RAM consumption on Sheets of Tarkov. This setting is recommended uh, for use, I guess for usage, on PCs with less than 32 gigabytes of RAM. So, if you have less RAM, if you have less than, I don't know, 64 gigs of RAM, less than 32 if you're running at 16 gigs of RAM, this must be uh, a must for you, but I truly don't believe it's gonna increase your frames. It probably will help with stutters, I think sheets won't be crashing your PC anymore if you were getting blue screens while loading into sheets, this should help out. But please, don't expect higher frames, because majority, because the main thing that leads to higher frames on your PC is your CPU. List of fixes. Fixed a number of visual bugs in geometry, colliders, foliage and lighting on the locations. So hopefully locations will look better. Fix the ability to jump on trees on all locations. So this is a big thing. Uh, BG is finally nerfing writing. Yes, you cannot sit on the trees. Um... Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, I guess the red century of sitting on the trees comes to an end. I've done it a couple of times myself. Uh, it's a little bit fun. I am uh, not gonna miss it. It is what it is. But it's a fun thing that they decided to do it now. Out of all the things, they decide to close the trees for rats. Like, <laughs> I don't know, the timing is just weird. Let me know what you think about this change in the comments down below. Uh, fix the bug that caused a decrease in hit registration accuracy. Hopefully bullets will finally not go through the enemies. I had a raid uh, a few days ago when I was shooting the guy and I think three bullets just went through his chest and I see that they're going through his chest and they're just hitting the wall behind them. They didn't register on the chest, they just hit the wall and I was like, bro, what? So I hope this is getting fixed. Fixed visual duplication of quest objectives when partially handing over required items. Okay. Remove the ability to display weapons without critical attachments on the weapon stand. Alright, so right now if you have a random weapon body, you cannot put it on the stand. It has to be a fully assessed, fully assembled gun. Fix the bug that resulted in the possibility to use paid vehicle exfils, exfils multiple times in the same raid. So that was a bug when uh, you would go to customs, somebody would use Uber, the Uber would drive away, but the gates will stay open, the car would become invisible, and you come to this invisible car, you pay for it, and uh, you get home. This is it, that's how you exit, using an invisible car. Fix the insurance bug when placing weapons on the weapon stand. Fix the animation of opening the inventory when the player is holding a pistol. Okay, so the patch is uh, 4 hour long. I also expect some of the October changes, because we, we are approaching... Um, what do you call it? Halloween? We're approaching Halloween. Um, I think BG will do something at the end of the month, like 28th, 27th, 29th of October. A few years ago we had a really fun time when... Um, BG spawn cultist on every single map and there was no time choice like no matter if you go daytime or nighttime the weather would just be gray with fog and the cultists would be everywhere that was quite fun so maybe they are doing something similar this year and this is where the game is going down for four hours because they need to install that that's my guess I might be wrong uh, so yeah, we're gonna be trying out the new patch on Twitch check me out there I stream every day we have some fun content on Twitch Go and check me out there and have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you in the next video. Take care.